<laughs> this is the entire code that I have written to upload files to Tigers. And everything else, like caching, replication, and so on, are taken care of by Tigers. Next up, I actually want to show how all of these different parts come together live using the browser dev tools. The browser is basically going to continually fetch these as we watch the video along. There's no video streaming service or there's no CDN here, all streamed directly from Tigers. Process running in our server per user, per browser, even per session. So this WebSocket is responsible for um, listening to user actions on the page and then storing a state for that. And depending on these actions, pushing a diff back to the user, only the diff that needs to change on the page. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I would like to zoom back in to the RTMP server over here. I think it's the smallest pipeline that you could construct to make a stream available. And as you can see, this is super simple because Membrane, this framework for multimedia processing in Elixir, takes care of a lot of things for us. And similarly, we have the Erlang virtual machine. Unlike the operating system level threads that some languages have, Elixir processes are super lightweight, so we can spawn a million of these like with ease. And another cool thing is that these processes are entirely isolated from each other. So when one of the process goes down, it doesn't affect any of the other ones because they share no underlying memory or data. And they communicate only by sending messages to one another. So as a result of this, um, Elixir is a super nice language to build concurrent and fault tolerant systems in. So if you look at the right hand side here, we have a main process running, which is the supervisor. And then that one spawns a bunch of other processes like the RTMP and so on, so on and so forth. And you can think that each of these processes, processes also spawn other, their own child processes. So this whole structure kind of looks like a tree. Um, this is also called supervision tree in Elixir circles. Okay, so this is the repo that I have been working on for the past three, four weeks, give or take. And it's entirely built in Elixir with a little bit of TypeScript sprinkled in here and there. And let's go ahead and open source it. And there we go.